guys out there in YouTube. Uh, it's Nate from Famous Racing Customs uh, coming with a slight little update and a plan change um, for my 2010 Camaro which I was going to build to be um, a ZL1. Um, I still can't find a hood and um, I don't think um, the hood scoop is ac or the uh, the crowl hood is actually quite different after looking at a bunch of photos it's a little bit taller it's a little bit more square um, so I'm not sure if I can recreate it so uh, basically my plans are now um, are going to be um, it's going to be a like um, an autocross type car, autocross slash show car ish uh, type thing, um, and, and paint's gonna looks like it's gonna take me a couple more days. It's uh, unfortunately the body's gotta go back into the uh, purple pond. Speaking of purple pond, I just bought me a new thing, a purple power right here. And I got, um, this is pretty much for right now the biggest container I have, so I have to go out and get me a bigger container for the body of the Camaro. But as you can see, there's some flakes in there, some metal flakes, because I got my chrome. Um, you can see I've already kind of started playing with. Uh, that's a Camaro wheel right there. Um, the Japanese are strong with the chrome. Um, all that stuff's been sitting in there the exact same time. All the Camaro, well, all the chrome from the Camaro, uh, you know, within an hour, um, will basically falling off. Um, as it goes for the uh, the Toyota. Oh, sorry guys, grab right my toothpick. Um, as for the uh, Toyota, is that Toyota wheel? Yes. Same amount of time and nothing's coming off. I mean, I've been patient, I've been letting it sit, and just checking on it here and there, and... See if I can do this. Can you... okay, let's see how can I do this? Oh. Ooh, it foams up. Whoops. Hold on, guys. Okay. Well, as you can see, it foams up quite pretty. But as soon as I, sorry, you're gonna stare at my pant leg for a second. Whoa! Oh, nice jump off the shoe into a box. That was nice. As you can see. Whoop. My light's still on? Yeah, I'm still on. Oh, okay. Uh, so, and as you can see, nothing has come off. The stuff has been soaking since about, uh, for now, probably almost four hours. This is probably going to be need a full 24 hours to get through. So, yes, the Japanese are strong with their chrome. And, I, and you can see a little bit of discoloration, which means it is working. But whatever they use whether um, I believe is just um, basically like your alkalide is what everybody uses for chrome as far as I know um, but I mean whatever either they use a lot more or they use something different or they actually go through a chroming process I'm not sure but I mean 
like I said, the same amount of time, and I've actually put less work into, I just put this in here to get the little bit of residuals left, but, I mean, look at the difference. Less effort on this one, and the same amount of time, they've been sitting in there the same amount of time, basically, you know, other than pulling them out, I mean, every everything in there so um i'm thinking i went ahead and put both sets of camaro wheels in there because i wasn't sure which ones i was wanting to use but i think i'm just going to use these ones um if i don't buy a set um, i'm looking at a couple different sets for it and um you know um <clears throat> yeah Looking for a couple of different sets for um, the Camaro. Now, um, I originally started talking about the body before I went off on my little purple pond, you know, thing. And um, so, I'll show you why it's got to go back into the purple pond. Okay. So, the paint that I was using, again, is that Krylon, um, it's supposed to be that brushed, which, I wasn't worried about the top too much, because I can just color sand that out, um, I believe, and it'll be okay, um, but I should have did the lighter color first, because I was going to use that dupla color, I was going to give dupla color another chance, and, um, I know you can't see it here. Um, but my white primer doesn't like the Krylon paint. So whatever was below that the primer hit, it just instantly cracked. I'm going to see if I can try to send it out because, I mean got a little time and I got some more color sanding like some primer kind of went through the tape because I didn't tape up as well as I thought I did but yeah so seems like I always have bad luck when I try to use the dupe of color or the Krylon you know, because I can spray, um, I can spray a hundred different model paints and not ever have a problem. So, anyway, so, yeah, that's basically, I'm going to make this work one way or the other. I don't care what it's going to take. This is going to work. Um, so, anyways, you have to imagine, um, so, I painted the whole top section black. Or this brushed, oil brushed bronze color, which, um, it's, it's uh, more than likely just going to go back into the purple, it's just going to go into the purple pond. Um, but this is going to be the color scheme. It's going to be this oil brushed color, whether I have to go buy a new can or not. Because um, this is a few months old and it's been sitting out in the garage. It's probably frozen and heated up, so it might not be good paint anymore. But it has this awesome look to it, which I'm going, like I said, it's going to work one way or the other. And then, the so I taped off on this line, and then the rest of the car was going to be... Um, that maple color. Um, now looking at the one-to-one -one cars, um, I messed up just a tiny bit, but um, I'm going to try to redo it. Um, since it's all going back in the purple pond, I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the purple pond, which I painted the olive color, because um, all the undercarriage on the Camaros are olive for some reason. And then I was trying the uh, trying an overspray trick, but I think I messed up. Well, I know I messed up because I mean, and I might be able to color sand that out and just make it look really nice. If I can do that, then I'll save it. I won't worry about it. Um, 
and then I'll go through and I'll detail all this stuff the colors that they need to be so I'll be working on that for a little bit um the Toyota I was <clears throat> was kind of hoping because somewhere in there uh in the purple pond which there it is is the grill for my Toyota which um, seems to be coming along nicely actually so maybe hopefully here in the next hour or so um, it'll be all stripped off all the chrome will be stripped off because I'm painting the grill the same color as the cab and the bed and then the bumper I didn't notice that big giant scratch on the bumper. Hmm. Well, maybe the bumper is going to get painted the same color too. Um, that's just how I like it. I, like, I don't like a lot of chrome, as you guys know. I think I've said that a few times before. But, yeah, I really don't like chrome. Um, and, uh, I mean, it's... Well, yeah, see, you now it's working really good because I can just about rub it off on the grill. So, just the rims are really the ones giving me the problems. So, um, but now it looks like i got to throw my bumper in there because I didn't see a scratch that um, I should have seen. Right there. Oh well. Oh, there's another one right there. I'll be damned. Okay, well. This one's going to be a couple hours behind, but I might. Um, I'll figure something out with that. With that bumper. So, yeah, that's where I'm at right now, guys. Um, I got my interior color. Um, custom mixed gray. Um, I used my um, my acrylic white and um, acrylic or ac acrylic flat white and acrylic flat black. And um, until I got it to, it's actually a little bit darker um, in real life. I know it looks kind of bluish right now, but um, it's it's a lot darker in real life um, so um, because the flat gray that I have just didn't look right I didn't want the tan color I didn't want to do a flat black I wanted to do something different um, so but it's okay because I have to go through now and um, get that uh, Basically, you're going to have the rear seat being removed, and then um, building a custom roll cage, which means um, I'll probably end up, like, right here, cutting out these holes, because it, a race car, uh, well, I guess it's a slash show car, so it could still have speakers, I guess. I don't know. I'll decide when I get to that point. So... While I'm waiting on everything, I've been sitting, and again, because it's a waiting process for this stuff, which is kind of ridiculous, but, well, I mean, the rim, the Camaro rims, I, I don't really have to wait on, I'm just letting them sit uh, a little bit longer, because I was hoping to have that done today, and then I could have got got to work on other things, um, I like doing things step by step, I don't like s skipping and jumping around, um, although I did a little bit on this one, um, because I painted the chassis last night, um, the olive color, the flat olive, and, um, 
but um, last night it just got too late to paint the body so um, as the olive was drying I went ahead and I painted my interior up which I guess I can jump to my interior but whoop, wow, I kinda don't want to so I want to get my body done um, get the body done I haven't I haven't even touched the engine yet um, just because I haven't decided what I want to do um, it may not get the original excuse me oh. um, I may not get the original um, L99 um, it may get an aftermarket engine um, I've been looking at a lot of them and coming up with some, like, really just different ideas. Um, just getting a lot of different ideas out of it, and, um, then I stumbled across something and I didn't don't know why I didn't think about it before um, building I mean putting in an, a different engine you know I was looking through engine after engine after engine you know between the L99 and the LSA and you know if I was gonna model L99 after the LSA uh, the Z7 or ZL1 because that's what I wanted it that's what I wanted it to look like was a ZL1, but I couldn't find I couldn't find any uh, ZL resin ZL1 hoods, so I don't know, you know. So I kind of went that, you know, kind of started drifting away from that, and then uh, it happened to come up here and was looking at stuff um, and then it happened my eye caught a glance at one of my movie cases which was the first Transformers um, the new one the live action and oh yeah Bumblebee's a 2010 Camaro oh, okay then I remembered that it had that the uh, the original, I believe it was a 79 or 80, 79, 78, 79 Camaro, whatever, um, had that badass engine in it, and I'm thinking I might get me an aftermarket engine and build me one like that, so, uh, never know though, we'll see, so, that one's probably going to end up being a long project, Which is fine now. I'm getting more comfortable with the longer projects because I don't waste so much money on on uh, model kits. Because I get too distracted right now. I'm I've got two open and I, it just seems like um, I haven't really gotten anywhere lately with them. And I think it's just because I'm distracted. I work a little bit on one and then it's like okay, well I'm done. I, tired of work on this one, let's go to the other one, start looking at that, and playing and mocking it up, and, alright, I'm bored with that, let's go back to this one, and start playing and mocking it up, and, alright, I'm done, this, that, and whatever, so, I think I have ADD, I'm not sure, of course, I won't get tested for it, so, um, Another note on the Camaro, this is short, this is a little update too, we gotta find it. Oh, I got smoke in my eye. Um, where did it go, where did it go, where did it go, where did it go, where did it go? Ha, ah. ha, ah. there it is. So, uh, what I have done here was, um, a little bit of something like uh, 
uh, I think the first time I saw anybody do this was a jaw performance video actually and he, what he did was he just drill cross drilled his own rotors well I started with this one trying to figure out how I was gonna do it and um, yeah so it just looks like a bunch of random holes this one looks a little a little bit better you know as it got through and then f finally got to my last one which probably looks the best out of all of them so I gotta clean them up a little bit still got some stuff on the back side of them but yeah, so it'll have cross drilled rotors and I'm hoping that the uh, detail of the rims or the rims will kinda throw off the uh, the mistakes I've made on that one but if it doesn't then oh well <laughs> you know um, that was just something I wanted to try um, so I did it and it didn't come out looking a hundred percent accurate but I'm okay with that so because it was my first time doing it and it actually wasn't too bad once I figured out a good way to do it which was uh, instead of trying to do one line at a time do like the inner circle a middle circle and then like an outer circle and just stagger them off a little bit and then they come out looking pretty good so um, where am I at 21 minutes okay so and now that I'm waiting on my chrome or my my chrome parts to de-chrome which I don't think the Toyota parts are going to be done tonight they might be they might not be I don't know might be late enough too late uh, but I don't know um, so thinking about now I'm going to play around with oh, the wrecker I know guys it's been a long time coming and um, I know I said I was going to do something with the Escalade which I'm still going to do but I was going through it and I have this modern engine for it you know which is pretty nice you know I need to uh, strip it um, strip all the paint off of it and re-go through and detail it because I was just uh, that was just supposed to be a quick model and I wasn't going to do a ton of detail to it so um but get up. okay anyways um thinking about putting it in the, the tow truck you know so I mean it fits it's a modern engine this is kind of a there it goes kind of a uh, hot rod truck anyways so I wish I would have taken my time and waited a little bit and watched some more videos because I've seen the plow truck doesn't come with a molded in engine which kind of upsets me about these two trucks I mean they look fairly the same but they're completely different all at the same time so anyways I'm thinking about putting the uh, modern um, Vortec engine in it and um, so I may get to that I haven't done anything with it everything's still white it's still got to build the uh, leaf springs for it which uh, again is going to make it look like it's underslung overslung and there goes my battery again so um, I would have done a video last night but um, my uh, my brain didn't tell me when I left work um, my brain didn't tell me to grab my um, didn't tell me to grab my phone so how lovely of that that um so uh so anyways yeah it didn't tell when i left work i didn't grab my phone so my phone got left at work last night i didn't get it until this afternoon so um for now the time being um Um, so for, 
you know, all of last night I kind of messed around with the Camaro and, you know, did a bunch of stuff and wasn't able to upload a video. Not that I got very far on it. I mean, I just basically painted the undercarriage of the olive color. Um, I didn't do any detail work to it because I knew that I was going to do the overspray, try to do the overspray look, which eh, I might just go ahead and try to sand it down carefully and, um, and then I'm going to, for the first time, I'm actually going to try to weather it, weather something, um, which we'll see how that comes out. Um, just trying to bring up my skills a little bit so um, anyways guys um, until the next video whenever that may be um, which will probably be tomorrow because I think um, tomorrow I'm not really doing a whole lot of anything tomorrow um, tomorrow I'm thinking I'm going to try to paint the Toyota wish me luck um, haven't, still haven't really come up with a paint scheme yet, um, so I'm gonna also work on that tonight, and then, um, I had a few different ideas, but I just don't know how well they're gonna look, and I just don't want a crappy looking truck, you know, that one, I, I mean, I know it's a curbside kit, and there's not a lot of detail, and I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not doing the, uh, the flip bed, the bed's going to get glued to the frame, the cab's going to be glued to the frame, um, it's just a curbside kit that, um, that I've been wanting, and I just want the paint to be perfect, you know, so, hence why I have the micro, uh, polishy square kit, whatever, so, um, so yeah, that's gonna be it for now, guys, um, comment, rate, subscribe, um, I've gotten a few more subscribers again, so thank you guys for subscribing, and thanks ahead of time for watching this video, um, if it's boring you, I'm sorry, um, it's got a lot of stuff going on, so, I'm trying to cram, you know, I, I know I said I was gonna try to do more videos, and, I just don't ever have time to work on my models or anything like that. Um, I was thinking about doing like a second channel, kind of do like a Dave Parker thing where um, I uh, where I uh, have where I do a vlog basically um, about what's going on. Um, still don't know. Uh, Benny Mac attack. I saw a video on his, so I'm gonna try doing that actually with this video. So we'll see how it comes out um, about how to upload easier. Um, and if so, because I have the video maker on my laptop, and even though my laptop's running a little slow, it still does things. So um, I just want to do kind of like a cool. Uh, like a cool intro video like everybody else has, you know, Dr. Cranky, Dave Parker, Fast Jimmy, you know, so, anyways, we'll see how that turns out, and, um, I'll see you guys on the next video, so, this is Nate from Friends Racing Customs, signing off.